first webinar feature entitled Floral Expressions. For this webinar, we have invited five interior designers from across Visayas and Mindanao to showcase their houses or their home and their home office while expressing floral arrangement using tropical plants from their backyard or from their neighborhood. And most of these are in full bloom this summer of May. Okay, so let me start. I'm here in my house in Talisay, Cebu, this is the Grande Subdivision. And then we will have our colleague from Iloilo, Ms. Maita Roblesco, our colleague from Tacloban City, Hydro Milan, our colleague from Davao City, okay, Ms. Jen Serranos. So each one of us will showcase a portion of our house using the tropical plants that we have picked and gathered from around our backyard. So, okay. Let's welcome our co-host, Ms. Kathleen Obsimea. Hello, everybody. Yeah, it's, it's Hello, it's, Kathleen. It's, yeah, it's just timing this month that we are tackling about flowers. Because so let's see how we can use these flowers inside our house or inside our um, important places like offices, dining areas, your living room or your altars. Okay. Let's so, start with James. Okay. Thank you, Kat. Okay, now my house is an eco house because it has thermal wall. So it's very sustainable and insulated. Okay. As you can see my living room there. My center table, I have the collection of the praying Buddha collected from India, London, Manila, Bangkok, and across Asia. And here I have a, a very nice reclining Buddha with a rolling crystal glass ball with LED light. That's for good fortune. As you can see, my living room, I have two pedestals, which I will convert into a beautiful planter and base using bougainvilleas, okay? And then my upper deck, I have the gallery and library, which I will dress up later. You can see those three tall vases. I will dress them up with bougainvillea. The reason why I'm using bougainvillea, it's because it's very abundant nowadays. So, so you can see, I have three kinds of bougainvilleas. The white, the pink, and the orange. So each area will be defined by these flowers using bougainvillea. So while I'm doing this floral arrangement, okay, I will include also this console table with this turquoise blue glass vases, which will become a centerpiece later on. So let's hear it from Ms. Kathleen Obsimea once again. So, okay. habang ginagawa to ni James ngayon, yung pag-dress up ng kanyang living room and yung kanyang uh, gallery or library upstairs, we will go ahead naman sa pag-interview ng isa pa nating kaibigang interior designer na si Maite. Taga Iloilo naman siya. Diba? So, nationwide tayo. So, Maite, hello! Hi! Hi, everyone! Hi, Kat! Maayong hapon from the city of love, Iloilo. So, uh, I'm, again, I'll introduce myself first. I'm Sab, but my friends here call me Maite or Maiti. I am Isabella Roblesco. I'm the principal interior designer of Libu. And uh, welcome to our, our living room here. Uh, to give you a little background, why our living room looks like this is because I'm an advocate of Filipino design, Filipino interiors, and Filipino artists. So that's why I really promote in my practice these uh, manufacturers, designers, and artists. So this living space is our hangout place. Dito kami parating nagbabond ng mga kids, ng husband ko. And then, ito yung busiest part of the house. I usually open up all the sliding doors and I want to bring the outdoors in. So, 
that's really what I encourage uh, with my other clients as well. So this afternoon, I will show you how to style and spruce up the look of this uh, living room with the use of flowers and plants. And later on, it will be a family affair because I will include my kids. I will ask them to join me in setting up this space. So when designing, I have usually uh, rules. And those, the rules are to consider the lifestyle of the users. So for this living space, yung pinaka consideration ko are my kids. I have three kids aged five, six, and seven. So nasa uh, playful stage sila. So kailangan, uh, what I'll put here are stable items. And we also have a dog. Mas malikot siya than the kids. So isang consideration din yon. And then the challenge here, uh, the challenge posed to us by James this afternoon is to use to make use of flowers. But since uh, most of our plants in the backyard are not flowering plants, uh, I will only use the ones that I have, and those are heliconias. And later, I'll show you also how to incorporate, other than heliconias, I'll incorporate um, indoor plants. I'll snip some of the plants outside and then arrange it in stable vessels and arrange ko siya inside the house. Um, and these plants are air purifiers. Since limited yung, plant, yung flowers ko, I'll use indoor plants and particularly they are air purifiers. So, yes. that's Okay. It. So, next naman, so, ayan na yung si Mike, ha? kanya living room din. Katulad ni James, living room din. So we'll go on to our next invited interior designer. Hi everyone, I'm Hydran Milan. Um, I'm from Tacloban City. I'm the principal designer of Hydran Milan Design Studio. Um, this afternoon, I'm going to show you how to spruce up your, um, the space, particularly our sacred space. And here in the background, um, we also have a curio cabinet. And um, it's very trendy right now to have like shelfies where you change it uh, from time to time. And um, I'm also going to give tips on how to choose um, your sacred space. So how are we going to choose our sac sacred space? It is, it, it is very important right now Now we have, um, we're quarantined and we cannot go to church and we should have um, sacred space at home where a, that space should be silent and where a place where we can um, meditate. And um, that space should at least have a religious icon. So for different um, denominations, you can also choose um, which, for example, you can just choose Bibles to have in your sacred space or um, a crucifix. So it depends on your faith. Um, and also in my space, I have Urna. And Urna is a 19th, um, turn of the century. This is a staple in the homes in Filipino houses, where na is um, a miniature version of the retablos in the churches. So um, that's what we're going to um, spruce up later on. And then um, this urna is from Bohol. It's from um, turn of the century, siya, mga, like early 1900s. So it's polychrome, and then it encases um, the religious icons for those who are Catholic. And then, um, I'm also going to use plants, which are um, not commonly used for floral arrangements. And our inspiration for our arrangement is Annie or Harvest, which is and I'll be using um, berries, tea leaves, and foliages. And then I'm going to turn it into um, um, plant arrangements or foliage arrangements. Okay. Exciting yan, ha? Hydra, ang iyong mga gagamitin mga... Um, for floral, for flower, uh, flower decorations, parang very interesting. Merong pang ani, anong tawag just sa sinabi? Yes, <laughs> Kakaiba siya, very Filipino. So uh, we look forward to that. And now we'll go naman sa Davao. So let's hear it, Kai Jen Serrano. I am IDR Jennifer Oladan Serrano, an interior designer as well as an accountant by profession. 
I reside in one of the friendly villages of South Davao, where you can find cute houses with a uniform one meter height fence. I like where I belong because I can see a wide perspective of nature and the sky with less borders and boundaries around the neighborhood. I enjoy the comforts of my own home by bringing nature in. I have a collection of tropical plants that I would love to share with you, their characteristics and how they are so helpful to promote good indoor air quality inside the home. Every morning before I start the day, I always go to my garden and visit my plants to give care and to welcome the day with the joy that their bloom and growth brings to me. They are my connection to Mother Nature and to the Infinite Maker. Near the doorway, I usually put these two iconic tropical plants to go with my Vivalvea lighting, which I designed years ago. I love to be greeted home by this yucca filamentosa color guard, also called Adam's Needle. It's broadleaf evergreen shrub featuring a basal rosette of rigid sword shape, spine tip rich green leaves with a broad central brilliant yellow stripe. This one brings a bright note year round. Together with the long spiky leaves of Santorea plant, an energy of enthusiasm perks my day. This plant is a genus of about 30 species of plants endemic to Australia. In my receiving area, where I also hold my office, I set an arrangement of this powerful spider plant, an air cleaning plant that grows in low bright indirect light. With its long streaks of white and green, it effectively absorbs silene, a solvent used in the leather, rubber, and printing industries. I place it beside my printing machine with an arrangement of amaryllis, tropical white flower, and costus or red button ginger. Amaryllis is from a genus of flowering bulbs, a flower associated by Victorians with strength and determination because of their height and sturdiness. It is usually a gift of hard-won achievement, from a Greek term which means to sparkle. Costus is a group of perennial herbaceous plants in the family of Costaceae. It is also known as Costus woodsuni or red button ginger, or Helenia a floral emblem of Nigeria. It has diosgenin, a compound used for medicine. It is also best for indoor arrangements. In my living room are a party of still tropical plants which I cared for years. Picos bonsai tree sits on my center table. This plant thrives in warm environments, so indoors is ideal. Near my window, I arrange a group of Hoya obovata plant, Molave bonsai tree, and yucca elephant types, a spineless yucca. A yucca elephant types are plants used to make medicines. It is an evergreen foliage which features narrow sword-shaped leaves. It is beautiful as interior plant. Hoya obovata plant is a fast-growing one with round, broad, thick leaf, a robust climbing plant also known as the sweetheart or heart leaf hoya due to its large, glossy leaves. A molave or chase tree can reach a height of 8 to 15 meters with a long lifespan. Leaves are pointed at the tip. Listed as a threatened species, I am glad I cared for one in my own abode. Aside from construction and furniture use, its bark have curative effects on wounds and poisonous bites, and its leaves are used to feed cattle.
plants in my garden are a beautiful foretoken for me. Each waking day, they are a reminder of God's promise that life can be nurtured and must go on. Alam mo, excited na excited na ako na makita ang mga outcome or output ng mga disenyo ng ating mga interior designers using their own uh, plants in their backyard. O, ngayon, balikan natin si Maite. No? Dahil siya tapos na si, uh, si James sa uh, How Hindi Pa Tapos na meron siya uh, second floor na din address. So, babalikan na lang natin siya. No? So, eto muna si Maite. Sa inyo. Okay, so what I did was to add uh, some tables and place them around the kitchen for the big room. Para may pat patungan ako ng mga plants and ng mga vessels natin. So, first, yung ginawa ko, nag-add ako ng isang stool dito para may extra table space for uh, a pot, yung pothos na plant. I, we have a thriving plant of pothos uh, outside kasi ito nag-slip pa ko and then pinapropagate ko. So this one, the pothos is also known as um, devil's ivy kasi mahirap siyang um, hindi siya mabilis mamatay na plant. So, and one of the good things about pothos is it's easy to propagate and it's great for workplaces, for places na kung saan maraming gadgets because it absorbs radiation. So, this one, yung, yung, yung base na ginamit ko actually pang propagate ito ng photos na ito. So, parang naggumawa na ako ng little accent on this side with a little sculpture. Gawa ng local artist namin sa Iloilo and then uh, a scented candle. And on the center table, so, Ito yung photos na nag-drive na siya. So, na-transplant ko na siya. Pero, now, ginagdagan ko lang siya ng heliconia. Heliconia is or birds of paradise. So, pakita ko lang. Closer look. Ang ganda. Ang ganda siya. Ang ganda. <laughs> combination yan, Maite? Yes, combination lang. So, different. Kasi yung base, there, may, may plastic pot ako ng, for the photos and then meron another bottle with uh, water for the heliconia. So, ito yung nilagay ko here sa so center of it. And then, tiny na din na orange yung colors ng mga heliconias namin. So, na-pull na, na niya yung colors of our flow pillows para mag-spread around the house yung accent colors. So here, eto, nilagay ko sa corner. Uh, yung shape ng bezel, I, I don't know kung clear siya from that side. Yung shape ng bezel is tapered na palaki pa baba. Very stable. Makahit mataas siya. It's stable and hindi siya basta-basta matutuba. So, nag-trim ako ng heliconias outside in the garden. And then, may dalawang species siya. Yung red and then yung orange. So, on the other side, natatakpan ko. My <laughs> death? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gano tinatagal ng isang dahon? Of paradise. Uh -uh. Yes. Yung birds of paradise, tumatagal siya a week or two here. But this, every week ko chine-change yung water. Para, para hindi siya mabilis malanta. Another favorite of mine na kinakot din and nilalagay sa interiors, yung plant na selum. Uh, it's not here now. Hindi ko siya sinama sa arrangements. Pero common ko siyang ginagamit pag nag-style ng mga houses ng clients. Mm -hmm. And then on the other corner, that's a bamboo palm or arika palm. Arika. Yun naman, nakapot siya. So, para magka-hype, nilagyan ko lang siya ng stool din para 
uh, tumaas, mag, medyo may balance. So, yes. the bamboo palm naman, the same feature siya with the pothos. It also eliminates radiation and therefore, it improves the air quality inside the house. And then, there you go. Pangganda. Can you see the bougainvilleas now? Diba? Para ka naka-floral arranged. Yeah. And then, let's... Ayan. Yun. So, I have the two arrangements. Very symmetrical. Let's go on the other side. And then my console table. There. Using orange bougainvilleas. So, the orange bougainvilleas against the turquoise blue glass jars makes a nice contrast. Then for the tall vase, I used the same bougainville and orange and then added some wild berries oh. to make it more uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a full view of the living room. There. Party event! Ang ganda! Very romantic. And then, if you can see from up, but we'll go up later. You see those three trumpet vases now have the orange bougainvilleas already. Wow. Okay. So another angle from this point of view. Ang ganda. Very complimentary. And then if you look up, that wooden vase with cherry blossoms and I added some pink bougainvilleas. Okay, now let's go up. I'll bring you upstairs. That's the cherry blossoms. And that's my seating area. And from here, you can look into the gallery and the library and look down into my living room. Ang laki ng difference, ano, James? Kung wala yung iyong orange na bougainvillea sa library, it looks very manly. Dry, okay. Diba? Yeah, so... With, with the me... flowers added, naging, uh, naging very warm na yung space. There you go. Yeah. Ang laki ng difference talaga pagka naglalagay tayo ng plants inside the house. Much yeah. more so, kung, flor kung flowers. For a quick, you know, quick fix. If you have a party suddenly and then you don't have time, especially in this time of pandemic, you don't have time to go out to, do, to, go to the flower market. You can just look around your neighborhood and pick all those flowers. But the secret is using the same color in one space to define it. Like in the gallery, I used all the orange bougainvilleas in the tall trumpet vases. And across, I mixed with the artificial cherry blossoms, the pink bougainvilleas. And then if you look down, see? The white bougainvilleas on the pedestal into my living room. Yes. Okay. Mm -mm. So that's my creation in floral expressions. Let's hear it from Hydra Thank Milan. You, yeah, let's Thank you, Kat. Hydra. Hello. Hello, Kat. Hello, everyone. Um, here's the output of our floral arrangement. As you can see, we, were, uh, we are using um, dried palay leaves because our theme is Annie. And then we also use um, palm, um, the fruit of the palms. And then, um, as you can see, I made a DIY. It doesn't have to be really um, all flowers. This is made of tea plant leaves. Then I cut it into halves like this. And then I roll it over. So, pwede siya DIY So, roll mo siya. And then, you secure it using pins. 
like this. Two feet. Yeah, naka ten. So with varying layers, if uh, mas makapal siya, mas mas magiging ano siya, mas magiging um full in full bloom, mm -hmm. and then it looks like this Persian rosettes. I put it in a vessel. Um, you have to remember in flower arrangements, um, the vessel is very important. So we have this bamboo to go with our um, harvest theme. And then you put it in the clusters like this. Fresh and rose. It looks like a rose already. Oh, okay. So dahon dang and then safety pins. So limitless using your creativity. Limitless impossibilities. Kano so, na tagal ng dahon na yan before siya mag brown. This why this is already brownish and may, may pag reddish na siya, may reddish na siya na tin. So it will, going, it's going to last around mga two to three days. Pero nakarol siya, so hindi siya, um, you cannot see it wilting, so hindi siya na mukhang lanta. So parang dried ano siya, flowers. Mm -hmm. Maganda. So, yun, eh. so you can put it here para siyang ani na tin. And then there's also one plant that I really love using. This is the basket plant. This one. The basket plant um, lasts around for, um, it could last for a month even without water. So favorite ko siya i the decorate in my office, in my house, and in my projects. Because it's um, very low maintenance. Siya. So it doesn't need water. If my water, it could last around two to three months, and then it will grow its roots na. So parang when it so, grows, even in a no, dry na soil, walang, um, not much of moisture contents sa soil, it can still grow into parang siyang vines. So it's really good for interiors. And then um, what we have here are hibiscus. So the tip in making flower arrangements is to use um, a very good color scheme. Here, um, I'm using analogous na color scheme as shades of orange glowing to peach. And then the peach contrasts well with um, the jade yes. stone. So, yeah, the pop up yung, ano, the pop up yung color na flowers. And then for a shelfie, um, we need to have a uh, visual interest. So I added yung, ano, yung hand, yung wooden hand na model, and then use it as um, a container, as so a vessel. So here, the one you're using for ano, mga, mga sketching the models. So we have a point of interest. Diba? Maging creative ka lang. True. And then um very I know we have mga dried na palay. But you can just use this as fillers. And then Para man, ano natin yung team natin na ani. So we also have like miracle berries. This is also a favorite of mine. Miracle berries because you don't need it's it's a bit thorny. You have to be careful in using this, and um, you don't need to, to do anything up for 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 this one. Pwede siyang iano, i accent lang siya, and then the berries and the leaves. Meron na siyang visual interest. I believe. So, yun. So, those are my tips. Anong halaman? And in your, ano, mm -hmm. come again? Anong halaman yung berries mo? Mirac miracle, they call it miracle berries, Kat. Miracle berries. Uh-uh. And an important um, tip in, um, make, uh, in, in sprucing up your sacred space, you have to make sure that the sacred space is a, a bit elevated. It's not, it should not be too low. So, para yung focal point, um, nasa medyo sa eye level siya, or uh, a little bit lower pwede rin siya, but not too low, kasi we have to consider yung ano, for integrity ng isang sacred space, dapat medyo elevated siya. So, that's one um, technique. So, here, um, we have the wings, yung parang sa, ano, sa urna. So, dito natin ilagay yung lahat ng arrangements natin. So, we are highlighting Filipino na materials and um, incorporating it into modern na approach. So in, in modern na, na context. So that's our tip in making flower arrangements. Wow.
magaling. As in, very Filipino, uh, ang Filipino creativity talaga, may kita natin, no? Sa uh, kahit anong klaseng halaman, makakagawa tayo ng bebang flower arrangement. So, hindi kailangan rose lang. Hindi kailangan sunflower. Pumunta pa sa tulad dito sa Manila. Kailangan pang pumunta ng dapitan o, or laong laan para kumuha ng mga flowers for our home. So, pwede tayong mag-pick up no, ng kahit anong mga halaman na sa tingin natin kagaganda naman ng ating space. That's true, Kat. Um, it's a common misconception that we're going to um, needed yung, ano, yung uh, expensive na flowers to create beautiful arrangements. These are just from our um, backyard and from our neighbors. So I'd like to thank my neighbors for giving me um, the flowers. That Pinaalam mo ba yan? Pinaalam mo yan? Yeah. Pinaalam mo? <laughs> of course, of course. I asked for mission. <laughs> At saka importante yung sinabi mo nga, yung vessel. No? Yung lagay yes. ng, mm -hmm. ng ating mga plants and flower arrangements. Importante yun. Uh, tulad di Maite, sinabi niya na kailangan sturdy, especially if matataas na halaman ng kailangan mong ilagay or mabigat, uh, yung, yung um, vessel na yon kailangan makapal. Yung bottom niya kung glass, kailangan um, uh, thick then or makapal para mabigat siya, hindi siya kayang hanginin. No? That's true, that's true. Uh, Nilinisin niyo ang mga pots. Mm -hmm. so, important din yung, ano, yung um, yeah, to complete the look, very important talaga yung vessel. So, to have to, um, to contrast with the texture, to, or to add drama, or to add um, a point of interest in your arrangement. So, you have to make sure that you have interesting vessels. Yes. So, yun. That's yes. one tip. James, may sasabihin ka, James, naka-mute ka. Yeah, okay. I feel fresh. Oo nga. Mukhang nag-shower ka, no? <laughs> Hindi. Quick change lang. Diba? After I did my flowers, then I quick, I did a quick change. So you see? It's so nice. Mm -hmm. I agree. Ang ganda. Kala mo may event dyan sa house mo. I added the fortune plant on, on the lower portion oh. to reach out to the white bougainvillea on the top portion. So, there's a sense of communication, di ba? And a hierarchy. And then, of course, yan. Yung aking console table. So, now, I can just wait for dinner time and then have a good dinner, right? Meron ba kayong maisasuggest? Patungko sa paano mag-arrange ng Kasi marami rin dyan na hindi tulad natin na designer or decorator na hindi, wala, they, they really don't have the idea on the height or the, the scale no, of the flower arrangement that they have to do or they have to make on their own, yung DIY. Meron ba kayong masasuggest? Okay. Okay. <laughs> to share po, uh, one tip is the concept or the the yung theories ng earth, man, and heaven. Diba? Pag naglagay tayo ng accessories in our uh, table. So, dapat may levels of, may height levels tayong uh, nilalagay para may variation naman siya. So, like here, sa little table na ginawa ko, the lowest point is the candle. The second is the sculpture. And nilagay ko. And the third, yung pinakamataas is this plant. Mm -hmm. uh, so, isa siyang sure or simple but sure way to put an interesting uh, arrangement in a corner of the space, in a table, or minsan sa shelf din. Sa mga shelves din. And yung yung ano concept tayo, na concept? earth, man, and heaven. Earth, man, and heaven. Yes. Okay. Good. Ikaw naman, James. I think it's a basic form of uh, geometrics, like triangle. So, take the shape of a triangle, and that's it. And then the scale, especially I'm using a tall pedestal. Make sure that if people sit on the sofa and then recline, hindi sila tatamaan also ng, 
mga dahon. At hindi matatouch yung mga dahon para hindi magalaw yung floral arrangement. So, triangular, sometimes circle, round, or sometimes linear. So, these are the basic structure that you can incorporate in your flower arrangement. Oh, okay. Good. Ngayon ko lang din narinig yan, ah. Magandang idea yan, James. Thank you. Hydran, ikaw, anong masasuggest mo? Um, I'd like to suggest na, ano, wag, makata wag, wag, wag matapot to use um, found materials. Yeah. So, yeah. those are the tips that they can uh, apply in their homes. So, yun. Doesn't, um, dapat hindi sila ma-intimidate with mga floral arrangements. And one advantage of um, having floral, floral arrangements or plants in your home aside from um, purifying the air quality is to have, um, parang maganda siyang may energy. I always change my plants in my home and in my office often. That's a weekly practice. And then, um, nag-rotate siya around the house para yung energy ng home maganda. So, it feels good. Um, aside from aside from the fact na nakakaan na siya ng ano, indoor quality ng, ano, ng air. Yeah. So yun, aside from that, may maganda siyang ano, flow of energy right. in our home. And there has been a resurgence of like um, backyard gardening um, during the pandemic. Kasi for a quiet, quiet some time, nawala yung ano, love for plants. And there are a lot of um, plant titos and plant titas right now and plant parents na uh, parang uh, so mga millennials na parang may resurgence of taking care of house plants na especially in the city na lesser yung open spaces and gardens. Yeah, and and uh, na-trend then this architecture right now and so design, yung bio, we call biophilic design, incorporating plants into the architecture. Yep. So any more guys that you wish to share? Well, we will still have another session and, um, and we will be posting the topic on our next session and hopefully uh, this first session that we had uh, have helped people uh, around uh, the metropolis or people you know nationwide as to how they can uh, still improve their indoor living space. Anian, Anian James. <laughs> For finale, this is uh, uh, Makopa, the white Makopa. Diba? Right? Only comes out during summer. So, courtesy of my neighbor. Thank you very much, neighbor. Yan. Okay? So, by the way, the reason why I chose white bugandilla for my living room because Flores de Mayo is a tribute to Mama Mary. So, of course, she is an immaculate Mary. So, white bugandilla is the best way to express flowers for immaculate Mary. With this, I thank you, everyone, for joining this first attempt of our interior designers at home. Thank you, Maite Isabel Roblego. Thank you, Hydron Milan. Thank you, Kathleen of Simea. See you thank again. you, Joel Bilardo, the man behind the camera. See you, see you. Thank you. And thank you, Janet Sagutaon from Davao. And, uh,